Hello, welcome to Scale English. Today's lesson is all about the difference between these two words, lie and lay. When to use these two words and it seems confusing to a lot of students. When to use these two words and sometimes we see in the present form also this word lay and in the past form also this word lay. So what exactly it means? So if you have any confusion regarding these two words, please watch this entire video lesson. I am sure this will help you to find what exactly is the difference between these two words. So let's get started and see. First of all, the word lie. We often hear people saying, don't tell lies. So lie here means not to tell the truth. So tense wise, let us look at this sentence. When we take the meaning lie as not to tell the truth, like she lies often to me in simple present. I have taken the subject she, that's why I have used the word lies here. If I take the word or subject I, then the word or the verb will be lie here. But here, for your benefit, I have considered the subject here as she. So, she lies often to me. That means, she is not telling the truth always to me. In simple present. Now in present continuous, I am saying she is lying to us. So the word lie or the word lie becomes lying in continuous form. She is lying to us, present continuous. Next, she lied to me. In simple past, the word lie becomes lied, L-I-E-D. She lied to me in simple past. In past continuous, it will be, she was lying to me. Past continuous. The verb lie becomes lying here. In pre present perfect, it becomes, she has lied to me. I have used the verb has and then the third form of the verb lie as lie. She has lied to me in present perfect. In past perfect it becomes she had lied to me. I have used the verb had and then the third form of lied. So here we see the word lie here means not to tell the truth. Let's take this word again with a different meaning. The spelling is same L-I-E. So here means lie means to take rest. So, if I say here, she lies on the bed, simple present, she lies on the bed, that means she takes rest on the bed. She lies, here lies means to take rest. And when I say, she lies often to me, that means, that is not telling the truth. But here the meaning is, lie, to take rest. So, she lies on the bed, simple present. She is lying on the bed. See the spelling. L-Y-I-N-G. She is lying on the bed. Present continuous. She lay on the bed. Simple past. So here the past tense of lie. Here is lay. L-A-Y. She lay on the bed. Simple past. Past continuous. She was lying on the bed. Here. I have used was and the ing form of the word lie that is lying. She was lying on the bed. Past continuous. So next she has lain on the bed. Present perfect. The third form of the lie word is laying. Next she had lain on the bed. Past perfect. So here the word lie the past form of the word lie is lay. So, the two words L-I-E, lie, here, once in a sentence it may mean that not to tell the truth. Again, in another sentence it may mean lie means to rest. So, we have to understand in what context this word 
is used in a sentence. When you see the word lie in a sentence, don't always assume that it is not telling the truth. It also means that you are someone is taking rest. Let's take this word lay, which is the past form of the lie to take rest in another sentence and see how the meaning of the word lay changes in that sentence. Here the word lay means to keep and here the lay means the past tense of life. So sometimes you may find the word lay in the past form and sometimes you may find the word in the present form. So if you find the word lay in the present form, it means to keep. So I have written a sentence here. She lays the book on the study table. That means she keeps the book on the study table. It is in simple present. Now in the present continuous, this one becomes she is laying a book on the study table. So here the word lay in the ing form becomes lay, L-A-Y-I-N-G. Next, in the uh, simple past, we see the word lay becomes laid. So, she laid the book on the study table, simple past. Next, she was laying the book on the study table. Here the word lay in the continuous form is lay. So she was laying the book on the study table. Next, in present perfect, she has laid the book on the study table. So here the third form of the verb lay is laid. She has laid the book on the study table. Present perfect. Finally, in past perfect, we say she had laid the book on the study table. So here we have used the third form of the verb lay as lay and we have used had before it. So it's a little bit confusing but keep in mind when you find lay in the past form that means here it is the past form of the verb lie that means to take rest. She lay on the bed, simple past but see here lay if we hear me in this sentence means to keep. So she lays the book on the table and here the past form of lay is laid. She has laid the book on the study table. So fine, let's summarize. If you see the word lie, that means it may also mean not to tell the truth. In one sentence you may find lie and it may mean that someone is taking rest. So, the word lie in one sentence may mean take, take rest and in another sentence it means not to tell the truth. Another thing which we have to keep in mind is this word lay. You may find this word in a past form also, in the present form also. In the past form, it means it's a past form of lie, lay. And in the present form, here lay means to kick. So I hope this lesson has cleared all your doubts about these words lie and lay and when to see and visualize this word as whether this is lay means to keep or lay means to rest. So I hope today's lesson has been useful to you and I'm sure if you watch this video over and over again this confusion will go away from your mind. I hope if you spend time on my channel and go on watching my video lessons, it will be of great help to you. Upcoming videos will also help you a lot. So to all my viewers and subscribers, I want to know from all of you what more I can give you in my next coming lessons. Please put your likes and share it with your friends. And yes, those who are new to my channel, please subscribe and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe because 
whenever I am uploading my next video lesson, you will get notification automatically.